my fellow traveller on this journey, Graham Jones, has some hidden talents. He's the current Australian whip-cracking champion, and what a treat to see a bloke that knows his craft so well. Part a typical country fella who's a high achiever, whip-cracking isn't his only claim to fame. You were saying over the CB there earlier, mate, that there is a world billy boiling championship. Are you are you having a land? No, I'm not, mate. No, there really is. Really? Yeah, uh, and it surprised me too. I was up at Boona uh, earlier this year, Boona in Queensland. We were doing a whip cracking competition up there, and uh, they, were, they ran a world billy boiling competition open to all comers, and it was a hoot. <laughs> and I come second. You came second. We're, we're looking at royalty here, second in the world in billy boiling. Wow. You've <laughs> boiled a few billies, you want to give it a go? Mate, I usually do it with gas. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of firewood occasionally, but often fire starters and... Well, the deal is, you got a log of wood, um, whatever, you choose your own log of wood, you get an axe and a box of matches, and that's it. So you've got to split your own wood, get it lit with matches only, and then bring a billy to boil. And the billy's got about 600 ml of water in it, the old pint. So you've had a bit of experience about this and, and I don't like coming last. So I might get, I might get my, uh, my assistant. We've got Nick, my yeah, little, call uh, Nick director's in. assistant over there. And I reckon we'll throw him in too. That way I, I, might, I might not come last, but we'll see. He's a big unit. He's, well, you never know. <laughs> he looks never like know. A, uh, a Tasmanian wood chopper himself. So, uh, hey, Nick. Mate, can you grab that uh, billy, that spare one over there, and uh, come on over? Well, everyone, this is Nick. Nick's uh, role is my uh, director's assistant, so he uh, does a lot of odd jobs. He's always in the background around here. But uh, tonight, he's going to see the carnage. <laughs> I've got to beat him. <laughs> Rightio. All so. right. So what we'll do, um, we'll get a log each. There's a nice one for you. Thank you. Normally, you pick your own, but... I'm cheating. You gave me the wet one, didn't you, mate? I did. I gave mine's, you a... Mine's a drenched one. Oh, I've got my... Oh, that's a nasty one. That'll do. We'll be right with this. Okay, so the idea is... Little Tommy Hawk each. One for you. One for you. And Billy for you. You've got yours and I've got mine. And now just the matches. And you get a brand new full box of matches. And the idea is to cut yourself off something that'll splinter up quite nicely. So start with that. Start splintering it down nice and fine. Now we want the, you want your initial splinters to be very fine because we've got everything against us here and we're only starting with just matches. Well, mate, you've got a head start there. I think you better throw that away. Yeah, I'll throw that away. I've got plenty there. Give you a few tips there. Yep. Right, right, let's get into it. Okay, so the clock starts from the first strike, eh? That's it. When you're ready. Rightio. Go. Go. Whoa, I've missed the first one. Oh, there we go. Now, what I've done already is cut a couple of bits that I can support the billy on. You can use them. <laughs> Don't bring it back. <laughs> when you get a group of blokes together seriously competing on this, it's it's quite funny that <laughs> the um, testosterone gets going and and they it's really it's really serious. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a four-wheel drive track, mate. A tough one. You get the red mist going and you got to <laughs> that's it. You got to win. When you're confident you've got enough really small stuff, you can start building the fire. I'll tell you what, if you can take a second to look around at that sunset on those rocks up there, what a spot to be doing this, eh? You bet. I'm going to use about half a dozen matches to get to try go at this because it's... Oh, and you can use something to fan your fire. You're allowed to do that. So I'll give you... Maybe, maybe that. Oh, there's a good fire going over here. 
I'm not feeling confident at all. They're toasting me. <laughs> yeah, Nick, um, your role is director's assistant. I order you to uh, assist the director, which is me. <laughs> it's funny, you think it's going and then you get complacent yeah, right. and then it dies. And I can already see bubbles. Oh dear, and I'm still struggling. Oh. Come on, Pat. <laughs> oh, you got, you got <laughs> oh, what happened, Nick? I knocked it over. <laughs> it was going so well. It was going well. So what's a what's a good time for a um, uh, a billy boil? The uh, particular event that I was in, it was a very hot day, so that helps, of course. And the timber was nice and dry, and I. Uh, Pretty sure the winner came in at about six minutes and 40 seconds. Wow, that's not bad. No gas, no petrol, just, jeez. <laughs> what would you rate me at the moment, mate? <laughs> um, well, you're coming from behind, but you've got fire going. There's a little bit cranking now. Yeah, I don't need an adjudicator. Oh, yeah, she's boiling, mate. She's. A rolling boil even. Jeez, well done. Well, I think the master has taught us a few lessons, mate. I'm not far off, but... Uh, no, no, that's going you, well. <laughs> you've, you've smashed us. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Nick. Oh, that was fun, mate. What do you reckon, though? I'm uh, after something a little bit stronger than a Billy T now, so how about we pack this up, put it in the fire pit, and uh, go and have something out of the end. I'm with you, mate. I'm with you. <laughs> Let's do that.